Ready? Go get it. Sit. Good sit, Bruno. Good sit. Ready? Go get it. Hey, I was just walking around admiring your work a little bit. You wanted it to rain and it rained. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to KNS Get Out. So I have to brag on Kyle for just a minute because you all know how good his tractor skills are, but I get the benefit of having him use his tractor skills. So we had some extra rock laying around. Yeah, this was getting cluttered. We had the diesel tank over here. You know, I still don't have a place to keep the mower, the four wheel of the tractor. The grill was crowding us. And Shannon came up with the idea. She's like, hey, we need to revisit the thought of extending this base rock. This is where it ended before. You can see where the grass line was coming up. Yeah. And so we extended it on out. The blue bucket is access to the septic tank. So if we ever have to have that pumped, we can just take that lid off. There's a little concrete lid in there and we can still get access to that. You know, it's been here since day one, so just spreading the rock around it is... It just made more sense. It made more sense. <laughs> Let's but not it, dig it up again. It feels great. Like, I don't know what... It, do you it's... feel so free? Maybe you should do a dance or something. <laughs> not here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So yeah, I've got uh, something else in the works that hopefully this space will allow me to accomplish that goal. So we'll talk about that in the coming weeks. But very excited. I'm very pleased with this. I think it looks great. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. Now we just need to move a few more things around and we'll really feel like we opened it up. Well, but we're getting there. We just need Mr. Bruno to keep growing up a little bit. <laughs> the guy is two months old tomorrow. Yes, we can now finally start. No, babe, he's already two months old. 23rd. Whew. Well, okay, he's growing up faster than I thought. <laughs> so the dude is two months old. We don't have to count in weeks anymore. We're counting in months. It's just easier to keep track of, especially with all the goatlets and everybody. Uh, but he takes a lot of time and attention. We mentioned that back when we got him. We said, hey, if you're interested in a dog like this, you just gotta have the time. He's doing awesome. He's learning a lot of obedience commands. He's learning some of those fun commands just to kind of get him to interact and train. But it gets kind of hard to invest in a long-winded project 
then have to stop, go get the pup out. You know how it is, right? So needless to say, we've been working on short projects that we can yeah. do in small bursts of time. And so call timeouts and everything. Absolutely. Like guinea Easter egg hunts. Oh my gosh. Speaking of guinea Easter egg hunt, I just saw them run over. I did too, so what do you think of them? They're everywhere, all the time. I actually love it that we just randomly see them running by us all the time throughout the day. Yeah. They're just, they go all over the place. And I do have to report, <clears throat> because if you've been following along with us, you knew when we got the guineas, you knew that we got them with three turkeys, we raised them together, and we complained about how loud the guineas are. And they can still be very loud when they're going off. However, they're 10-ish months old, and I gotta say, they have quieted down drastically. I they, think it was the turkey's fault. I think it was, and I think it was just their adolescence. And you know, everything we ever read or heard was that they don't just alert at stuff they need to alert at. They alert, oh, there's a leaf, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, you know, and then they all get going. They do do that sometimes. Yeah. Now, we've also had people tell us that these are not normal guineas. But when I fire up the tractor, my chainsaws, or, you know, if I have something making loud boom noises out here, those guineas are right there with me. In fact, yeah. I had to learn to just keep using the tractor at the pace that I needed to. They get out of the They'll way. Move but they're right there with me waiting for me to scratch up earth for them to get worms and bugs and things. They're my buddies. So I don't, I don't know if all guineas are gonna be that way after close to a year old, but ours have quieted down a lot. And we're gonna give it a little bit of time, but we would like to incubate some of their eggs. So we're not gonna rush into it. No. We need to take our time, let them lay some eggs, get used to that. Hopefully we can figure out where they're laying their eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to call the neighboring properties today and say, hey, if you guys find any little uh, tiny eggs, those are ours, send them over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, we're donating those, they can keep them. I'm sure something will find them. Yeah, but I, we don't even know for sure how many of them are laying, because we're getting, what, one to two a day? Yeah. So right now, one to two a day, which would tell me at least two birds are laying. We know when it started out, we were getting one a day. So we thought it was just the one, but. There could be more. It's just that maybe the one is laying over here and the others are laying wherever they feel like it. We don't know. I have no idea. So we are pushing 60 degrees. And as you can tell, it's cloudy out here. The weather has been all over the place. We have a couple of days it's warm and sunny. A couple of days it's cloudy. We got way more rain last night than what was forecasted. I think we got a little more springy weather coming in the next few days. So we're just trying to be patient. <laughs> Speaking of patience. Spruce and weed are coming up from Goatville. Somebody's Everybody been else is already up here. Digging up his toys or burying his toys. Hey big guy. So you'll notice Mr. Hercules is still isolated. We're keeping an eye on that claw. I would love to see some growth. He does have pretty long fur down there, so it's kind of hard to get down to it without it. Well, buddy, we gotta clean your eye boogies for the video. Oh boy, oh yeah. They're Are just, you ready for muddy paws? Just, just get me there, just get me there, <laughs> big guy. I know it. So this has also been tough on him and us. Uh, he's, I know it's a broken record, but he is more than ready to get back in there with his goats or he wants to come out. We have walked him quite a bit. We each cuddle with him every day. I lay down in the dirt with him. <laughs> so he's getting his attention, but we just don't want anything, any infections. We don't want to prolong anything. And this moisture is not going to help, but we're nope. going to clean it out, powder it up. Make, hey, but. He says, what's this? He says, that's my nursery. And of course, get all of his herc bombs out of here. We'll do the best we can, buddy. He doesn't, IV bag, not an option anymore. That didn't last very long at all. No. All right. We tried buddy. though. I'm going to get you going. Mama's gonna go in there and see some goaties, okay? That's a good boy. Have a kiss. <laughs> Look at the mud on his nose. He says, I gotta dig up my- You do have some mud on your nose. Well, I had to dig up Snoopy and then I had to bury Honker Toy because I can't go out into my field. Well, if they're not in the camper, apparently they're down here using my shelf. What happened? I think, oh yeah, there's even, oh yeah. Signs of mice. They've migrated. Uh, Hi, Earl. Those little good. rodents are just... They're mm. everywhere. So we had them up at the guinea pen. We got them down here. They did some work on that, too. How did they get up there? Well... They had to go up, ride the two by six over, and come down? Jeez, I don't know. Mice are just terrible little creatures. Yeah. Ouija, why didn't you get the mice, man? 
Yeah, no well, kidding. Well, I can't get up there. I would have eaten the paper towels myself. You probably would have. No, I would have. Hey, 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 I'll, hey. I, I'll eat them now for you. No. Chuck. Where my food at? Where my food? That's your theme song, isn't it? My food! No, I was asking. I just need my food. All right, you're being rude. I'm hangry. That's your boy. He's always hangry. <laughs> and rude. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a party in the nursery. You know you all don't get fed in here, right? Only a select few. <laughs> it's funny that Mama and Koopa are so easily mistook for one another. Oh yeah, I do it all the time. I feel like my dad. I'm like, Mama, Koopa, uh, little more, or uh, uh, Mama, whatever your name is. I think dad called me Chad Matt Kyle the other day. Chad, yeah. Chad, no, Matt, or, uh, and I get it from him. I, I do the same thing. It's understandable. Look at All weed. right, guys, this is Blue's place. Blue and babies. Hi, Duke. Okay. Oh, hi, Earl. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. You are just super friendly. I knew I was going to be covered in mud from all the little hoof prints on me. Hi, Weech. Hi, big guy. You need some attention? You need some attention? They've learned from their mama and watched to see when the food is coming. All right, everybody. Some of you have to leave this room, okay? Come on, Spruce. Come on, Weech. I got an idea. Here, this is Blues. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Or here, I can do it. I'm over the fence. If you can just get her closed in there. Yeah. Bluesy. Come on, Mama. Oh, this is for Mama and them if you need to bribe okay. them. Come on, Mama. Come here, Bluesy. Mama. Come on. Come on, Mama. Mama and boys, come on. Come on, Coop. Bluesy. It's probably going to make it easier to keep them separated today with this feeder in here. I know. I've actually thought about building something like a partition, or we could try the trough method. We could try the trough method, and you're whoever see gets the, fed gets fed. You're going to see the spruce Ouija train just pushing everybody down oh the way. Oh, my gosh. Now, they have, I've cut them back on grain a little bit. We're just doing it a little bit at a time. They are taking in the hay. But cutting back on the grain, I think spruce's belt, I think he was able to loosen two belt holes. He's loosen or tighten? Tighten. <laughs> I think he's in a 42 inch pant now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nam 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 nam. Thanks for sneaking me more grain after dad's done, mom. <laughs> I'm not sneaking you more my grain. My diet is just too needy. Oh my gosh. Can't take all my food away. Okay. Nom, nom, nom. See this head and this neck, and then look at this big wide load body. That's back right, here. that's on. right. You gotta have the engine to push the train. As if Mama and any of her boys are going to leave any food behind, Spruce still has to go check it out to see if he can find anything. Hi, Hair Bear. Oh, Spruce. Got to check their beaters too, don't you? Got a very small piece of this flake I had sitting up on top of the bale. It's just a little bit wet. Uh oh. So I gotta find where, where that's dripping. That's not good. That's all right. Way better, way better than it was before Stan came and helped when we put that urethane up there. Mom, did you get my hair wet? I didn't. Well, well can I, is it okay to eat it? Well, of course. 
I'm okay. Is that really going to stop you from eating? Well, no, 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 no. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Look at those horns, man. You gentle They're giant. They're really growing. Gentle giant. I'm really surprised. It's kind of crazy how calm they are after a night of it raining. I kind of expected them to be like all over the place and running around and ready to be out of the shelter and playing and stuff, but everybody is super calm this morning. It's kind of weird, actually. Careful what you say. They can flip the script real quick, like. I know. <laughs> Whoa. Are you being rude? Dude, they can be in here with you. Who burp tooted? I bet it was mama. Either her or the big one over here. I got surround smell. Little Mario, you're on my foot. There you go. I'm actually surprised to see this thing at the same angle that it was when I brought it in here last night. Nobody pushed it or anything like that? Yeah, I spied on him a few times and quite honestly, Spruce was up in the top. Ouija was actually down here. Blue and her babies were all over here in the far corner. And Mr. Lair Bear is laying on the same spot with Blue and the babies. Okay. Harry was underneath the hay feeder, of course. <laughs> I think when I spied on him, Blue I think a eventually couple... moved up top. Yeah, I was going to say, I think Blue and maybe one of her babies was up top with Spruce. Yeah, and Earl was actually down here by himself. Whoa. Mom, would you tell the Mario crew to go away? This is my hay. Nope, you gotta tell them yourself. Okay, I'll do it. Ouija, you want a hay fro? I don't care. <laughs> Spruce is gonna eat it off of his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get him in trouble. Peekaboo, you're both right there. Wow, I can't believe you guys are so close. Spruce isn't even talkative today, I'm shocked. I know, I think he made one little yell whenever we were carrying the grain in. It's just the weather, man, they, they're the same way. The weather affects them, they want the sunshine, they wanna go down in Goatville, but they don't like being wet. Nope. They don't like the mud. I think that's why they jump on us and wipe all the mud on our pants and jackets and stuff. You think it's strategic? <laughs> you might be onto something there. Like a girl. Hi, dude. Weege, come on, bro. You got some pretty horns too, Blue. Yeah, you have pretty horns too. Look at these horns down here, coming in thick. They're gonna be huge someday. I know it. So are yours, Earl. Yours are real thick. Daisy, how about yours? They're yours beautiful. are quite a bit littler. Wow, good job, Daisy. We talked in our last video about our pushers. This is what happens. Well, hi, Spruce. Now that's pusher with two O's, right? Pusher? Pusher. I push you. I'm a pusher, mom. Ah, uh, 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 Mr. Spruce. Man, you're such a bully. You're such a bully. We need to help you shed some of this fur. Yeah. You're getting a, looking a little rough here, dude. No, don't. You don't record me getting groomed. Well, it's kind of funny. You oh need it. Oh my goodness. You need it, dude. You need it. Let me use it on you. Okay, that feels good. But don't do it. But it feels great. I am just so conflicted. <laughs> I think this is helping you, big guy. It's pulling out some of that fur underneath. Where'd you get that brush? A viewer sent it to us. She actually sent us two. That's awesome. Yeah. That's very kind. And yeah, we've tried a couple different brushes. And this one's working pretty well, so thank you very much. It's kind of similar to the de-shedding brush that we have for Nala, mm -hmm. which is obviously for a little bit different, softer fur. My fur is coarse. Good job, Sprucers. I just felt that cud go all the way up your neck. <laughs> you want some? I'll give you one. I think I'm good. <laughs> Man, good job. You're letting me just do this to you. This has got to feel good. 
He was actually doing a little pushing with me while you were up there. Oh. Which you got to be real careful with him. Keep your head up. Yeah, he's just rude. <laughs> like, Koopa walked up, started pushing on my leg, and I looked down at him, and then I realized, you know what, I've got my head down by Spruce, and he's... You can't trust Spruce. And I don't trust him like I can trust Ouija. Spoiled? No, not me. Special? Absolutely. <laughs> Good job, Sprucers. I know, I know. Best goat in here, best goat in here. What can I say? Yeah. But yeah, that's Herc's bath. That's what he cools off with in the summer. And the last two days, when the goats are all napping, laying around, being lazy, Spruce has been laying in that thing, just kind of facing Herc, sitting there chewing his cud, taking his little nap. I know they miss each other. He is just soaking this up. Free my friend! Free my friend! Free my friend! I figured he'd be saying, Spruce for Sheriff! Spruce for Sheriff! Oh, I'm going to take his rank. That's not a problem. But he got to be in here for me to show him that. You're not going to take his rank. Yeah, sure I am. I ain't scared of no Herkwees. He's a Herkwee little guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's just burying your face up there while she's brushing you. Can I get up here? This is where you really need it. You've got a lot of matted up under coat up here. Yummer. Yeah. I think what we need to do is get some like shop brooms and just make posts where they can rub up against them. And I agree work on it themselves well and it'd be really cool if i could fix them to this here on that spool and especially on that one because that's the most common one they will walk around that scratching their sides on it and if they're tall enough like bluesy she'll scratch her back up here and then some of them will walk over here under this ramp and scratch it on the edge of those two by sixes or two by eights whatever they are the ramp you need this just to get all the hay out of your fur dude that feel good? Yeah, these La Manchas, especially Larry and Harry, and of course the little goatlets, they got that longer fur and it is much, much softer than spruces, Ouija's. Little Mario, Koopa, and Mama, theirs is fairly coarse, but it's still a little softer than spruce and Ouija, but nothing compares to Mr. Lair Bears. As far as a adolescent goat goes, the little goatlets, they're just little fluff oh, balls. They're so soft. Softest little fluff ball, aren't you, Miss Daisy? I'm pretty girl. You look cutie, you know it. You're so sweet. Can we put some of this stuff on your foot for you? Get you cleaned up a little bit? Make you heal faster. Yeah. Yeah, it'll make you heal faster. I might even go look for a guinea egg and see if I can't find you one to snack on. Ooh, you like those guinea eggs, don't you? We need them all to start just popping eggs out like crazy because I myself am ready to try some. I am too. We're still learning, like, are the guineas mad when you take them? Are they confused? They're a little bit different than chickens, but so far they're still laying and so far fairly consistent locations. At least under the trailer. As far as we know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they spend a lot of time over there behind my truck and under the trailer. Oh, I hope you didn't want to wear that hoodie somewhere I'm going to have to completely change my outfit today. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty That's common. Pretty. Just spray it. That big guy will be okay about it, won't you? Yeah, it's okay. She's helping you. She's helping you. Yeah. Keep that leg up. Yeah, keep that leg up. Good job. Good I actually got to get it really well that time. Thank you. Yeah. I'm a pretty good patient, Mom. You're a pretty good patient. You're right. He has been using it 100%. I don't think I've seen him lift that leg. I mean, unless it was just at a time we weren't watching. But I haven't seen him lift that leg to walk on three legs for three days now, two days maybe. Uh, no pain medication since we... <laughs> Since we mentioned it a couple of videos ago, he has not yelped, he's not favored it, he's not licking it. So I think he's on the right track. We're just being very careful. No need to rush it, huh? He says, yeah, we need to rush it so I can get back to my goats. I know. Are you as impatient as us humans are? I think you might be. 
<laughs> yeah. I love you too. So obviously with Bruno, I've been refreshing a lot of my on training videos and reading about dog training and just kind of, he's a different breed than this guy and Nala, of course. So we're kind of tailoring to that a bit. But one of the things I stumbled across was a guy with a German Shepherd. He was talking about not letting your children walk up to a dog and just, you know, squeeze its head and squeeze its neck and get a hug like it would think. And most dogs, yes, that's exactly right. You really all dogs, you shouldn't do it. But this guy is an exception. Right before he just laid down, he walks over, puts his head on her chest and just leans into her. And then if she uh, pushes back a little bit, he'll go on down and roll over. But he wants all the hugs he can get. Who wouldn't want a hug, Mom? Everybody wants Hercules' hugs. Well, that's yeah. true. I mean, but, like, hugs are good. Yeah, but Mommy and Dad are the only two that get them, huh? Well, yeah. The who only two that get them. getting no hug from Mr. Hercules. No way. No this way. don't hug no stranger. No way. Mm -mm. I'll uh -uh. hug them, but they'll be on the ground and my teeth will... No, wait a minute. That's scary. <laughs> I would do it for you, though. Oh, thank you, buddy. You're smelcom. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> In my pocket. Oh. <laughs> That's a good boy, Herc. Yeah, so don't do this. Especially don't do this with Hercules. <laughs> if you ever meet Herc, <laughs> this is a special thing. Look at those monster feet, dude. Hey, I want to I wanna compare something here. Can I put your haw inside my hand? Because everybody thinks that Bruno's going to be as big as you are. But look at these paws. Ooh. These are big paws. Yeah. Hey, let's make our predictions now. You and I, and comment down below how much, we're, we're gonna have to wait to find out, so you're gonna have to keep watching the videos. How much is Bruno gonna weigh as an adult? When we took him to the vet, he weighed 12.7 pounds. Pure muscle. And he was, the next day he was eight weeks old. I'm still guessing he's gonna weigh like around 70. I'm going 58.2. Give or take three tenths. At what age? 18 months. Okay. We'll see what happens. This is, yeah, I mean, this is a long haul. This is a very early prediction, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, guys, we've got some pretty calm animals today for this uh, nice cloudy day. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of napping happening. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming along on this journey with us. We love and appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you later, everybody. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> he can somehow make his 90 pounds feel about like 200. I believe that. Starting the train. <laughs> <laughs>